Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI. This is a 33-year-old male who felt a pop in his right groin about a week ago. Lots of pain. He went to his doctor and they thought he may have injured his right groin and they thought that maybe he had a hernia. So they did a CT scan in the ER and did not see evidence of um, a bowel containing hernia, but he still had a lot of pain there. So they wanted to do another scan to look in the groin. Uh, thinking that maybe there was a small hernia that didn't show up, or maybe a lymph node or something, but this is the right groin. We see a marker right here, this little white thing, right over the groin, and everything looks really good in this region. This dark band is fascia, and all the intestines and fat should be deep to that. When people have hernias, the bowel or fat can protrude through this fascia, and, they, and you can um, usually feel palpable abnormality in this region, but again, this all checks out. No abnormality there, but if you go down a little bit lower, we see some asymmetry in the muscles. These are the left adductor muscles that pull the uh, femur towards the pelvis, and they are nice and homogeneous, low in signal, which is normal, but on the right side, we see that there is significant asymmetry. Up here, it's very bright as to compared to dark like it should be. So this is a partial tear or strain of the right sided adductor muscles where they attach to the bone. This is where a little tendon is, uh, or yeah, tendon attachment is partially torn, and we'll see that better over here. So this is a coronal view looking at the same region. Here's a yellow line shows you where we are. This is the right hip, left hip. This white is the urinary bladder. This is the prostate gland underneath it. Now we're going to go forward, forward, forward till we get into this. And here we go. So this is where we can really see it. This is normal muscle, the adductor muscles on the left. You can see the adductor muscles on the right are partially torn or strained. This is the pubic bone on the right. And those muscles attached to that pubic bone. Here's the left side. And you can see how that band of brightness here is abnormal. And on this view, you can really see a problem. There's a linear band of fluid or edema separating this tendon attachments. This is peeled off, pulled back by about three millimeters. This is the adductor longus tendon, and this is what's causing his uh, pain. And they call this a sports hernia because it seems like a, or clinically is very similar to a regular hernia, a bowel-containing hernia when they have groin pain, and so it's often misdiagnosed as a, a, a bowel-containing hernia, but really it's uh, related to the muscle attachments to the bone, or sometimes the bone itself can be injured or the symphysis pubis where these come together can be injured. But uh, again, they call this a sports hernia and, or athletic pubalgia. Patients who do sports and have rapid movements or, or shearing movements around the symphysis pubis area, like soccer players, uh, can get, again, uh, marrow changes or uh, changes of the muscle and tendon down here. Um, and they call that athletic pubalgia or sports hernia. And that's it. Thank you very much.